First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Lord, and the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. He said, He that defy the temple of God, the Lord shall destroy. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. He don't say it's just one of my weaknesses. It's just, don't deceive yourself. Decide to end it. You leave old habit behind by starting out with the thought. I release the need for this in my life. Any addiction you are not tired of, you can't overcome. Until you are genuinely tired of your addiction, you cannot come out of it. Even at the point of time, I hated the smell of semen. I was tired of it. So you need to make a decision and say today, and then is coming to this addiction in my life. Hi, good day, praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Daniel Olawan, the phone call pink, and welcome to day three of this our recovery challenge. We are recovering you from the shackles of masturbation and pornography and every form of addiction. I believe you were blessed by day one, day two, and this is day three. In case you missed the one and day two, please ensure you follow up on those episodes and then you watch them. And you receive light. And then for those of you who started with us, I believe your testimonies are in you now. So don't forget to share your testimonies with me via uh, my email, testimonies at pdanielolawale.com. And you want to get the book Addiction uh, written by me. That's the book we are reviewing together. Please contact my office via the details on your screen or you can also find it on Amazon, uh, Cabra Books, and all that. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for today again, day three. We believe that light will come to them. Let your word come to us with power and let there be deliverance and freedom in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't forget to share this video and invite your friends to be part of it. So, 7 Corinthians 7 verse 10. 7 verse 10. For godly sorrow walketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world walketh death. Godly sorrow walketh repentance. Matthew Luther said, to so do so no more is the truest repentance. So then the topic is genuinely repent. You have experienced, you know, the one we said limit. The two we said decide to stop it. And today we are saying genuinely repent. Uh, it's okay to be tired, but being tired without repenting is still nothing. Now that you are tired of masturbation, you are tired of pornography, Jenny, can you cry to God? There is a blood that flows from the cross. That blood can clear your sin. He said, if your sin be as red as color, he watch you as white as snow. If it's as red as crimson, he will make you as pure as wool. Jesus died because of you. No matter how terrible you are being, the blood of Jesus is the saving blood. Genuinely repent. Come to the cross. Come to him. Cry to him. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I confessed. I cried. I told God, I am tired. And guess what? He reached out to me. He saved my soul. He helped me. If the Lord can help you, if the Lord can help you, he can help you too. Matthew 12, 43 to 45, he says, when you, now, you need to understand this, that after genuine repentance, you have to stay in that form, in that state, whereby you load yourself with the word of God. You stay in that place whereby there is, because after repenting, the next day, that feeling of masturbation of Pornography will come back again. But load yourself with the word of God so that you stay pure. You see, it says, When the unclean spirit is gone out of the man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and find one. Then he said, I will return to my house from whence I came out. And when he's come, he will find and find it empty, sweat and garnish. Then he goeth and taketh with himself seven other more wicked than himself. And they enter him and dwell there. And the last state of the man is worse than the first. Even so shall he be unto this wicked generation. You see, after you have repented, stay in that state of repentance. Stay in that place of freedom. And load yourself with the word of God. Don't say, uh, I'm repenting. That's all. No, after repenting, you must stay faithful. Remember, repentance is turning away from change of state. Change. It's not just mouth. It's not just lip service. After you cry to God, then turn. Repentance means turn. Then turn. Turn from that thing. Say, I'm not doing it again. Turn. And you will experience your freedom in the name of Jesus. Say after me, say, I am no longer a slave to my addictions. Say, I'm a child of God. Say, I'm liberated from the bondage. Say, I walk in freedom. I genuinely repent today. I put off the old flesh and I put on the new man in Christ Jesus. I pray with you 
you are saved in the name of Jesus. I pray with you, you are free in the name of Jesus. I pray with you, and then as come to this, you are delivered in the name of Jesus. Please, genuinely repent today, and the hand of the Lord will rest upon you. Can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Please share the, this video, and don't forget to share your testimonies. God bless you. See you again tomorrow for day four.